this is Tank and Trucker, and we're going to go ahead and do a review on the B-C-12T, basically the Bat Chat 12T. Uh, you know, it's uh, if you heard it, obviously, before, there's the Tier 6 version of this, uh, which is the Bat Chatillion 12T, uh, which uh, is a Tier 6 versus a Tier 8, and hits for less damage, less hit point. you know, has less hit points, uh, less armor. So this one is a little bit better, but uh, the standard pen kind of falls short a little bit. But uh, let's go ahead and get a review done over here. So you get 1,000 exactly for hit points. Uh, pretty much no armor. You get 40 in the hull on the front and 25 on the turret. On the side, you get 20 on the hull and 25 on the turret. And on the hull, you get 20 on the, excuse me, 20 on the hull and 25 on the turret. So it's a nice looking tank. Um, it scoots right along just... Uh, you know, you end up slinging a lot of premium rounds, unfortunately, if you want a pen, and you'll see that in the replay. So, you get four uh, shells in the magazine, two seconds in between shells, and 20 seconds for a complete load time, and that's the stock settings. 170 is the standard AP round, 210 for your APCR, and 38 for your HE, which I don't carry any HE because um, you only get 52 rounds. So, you got, you know, I didn't want to waste, you know, and, you know, if you, it's not like you can carry one HE round. I mean, basically, you get four, and I didn't feel like wasting four on that uh, HE. Average damage for your uh, premium and your standard round is 170 and 260 for your HE. Average damage per minute is 1569. It's got a 0.38 accuracy and a 2.3 second aim time. So, the accuracy and aim time are not the best. My rate of fire is 9.38 seconds. Excuse me, 9.38 rounds a second. Uh. <laughs> uh, my re... Wait a minute. Yeah, 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 I'm looking at it right. Ah, turret traverse is 47.98, and the hull is 41.72, so uh, you're going to be the one doing the circle strafing. You don't have to worry about getting circle strafed. You get all right. Gun depression at negative 6. Be nice if you got negative 8. And plus 13... It's a 19.58 second reload for four rounds, and there's two seconds in between each shot. My aim time is 2.1 seconds, which is kind of lengthy, and uh, my dispersion is 0.36. Um, I could get that a little lower using vents, but I used uh, gun lane drive and vertical stabs to uh, get that aim time down as much as I could. Because, you know, 2.1 seconds is for, a, for a light tank is kind of horrendous. Even uh, 2.1 seconds with those two. I mean, uh, if I took that off, it, it bumps it up quite a bit. Uh, dispersion is 0.36. My average damage per minute is 1,595. It's a 12.2 ton tank. That's why it's called the Batch at 12T, because it stands for 12 ton. You get a 320 uh, Honda motorcycle engine. Uh, your top speed is 68 forward, 23 in reverse, and you got a specific power to weight of 26.23, so it's pretty good. You're going to get up to that 68 kph, and you'll maintain it. It climbs hills pretty good, too. Uh, your concealment's 21.35, and obviously you keep that while you're moving because uh, it's a light tank. View range is 424, and that's because I'm using coated optics to get uh, view range out there because obviously it's a scout tank. And uh, your signal range is 750. And... Uh, the reason I went with coated optics is obviously because I can keep that 424 on the move. Uh, in order, if you use um, nods, you got to actually stop, let them kick on, and then they engage. And I just wanted it to stay in activated while I was moving. Because, uh, you know, you stop, this is an easy target to uh, penetrate. And with 1,000 hit points, you can get whittled through those pretty darn quick. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a decent tank. Fun little thing to play. Toots right along, got great speed. Um, I wish the accuracy was a lot better. It'd be nice if the, uh, the reload was um, a little less, too. I mean, uh, you do get four rounds, so yeah, 20 seconds is pretty comparable, I guess. But if you want to hold on for a minute, I'll be right back with some gameplay for you. And some post-game stats. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here we are on the Bat Chat 12T, or otherwise known as the B-C 12T, and we are in Paris. Um, no matter what tank I'm in, I absolutely will not play, uh, this north side, the field here, because, um, there's just, I don't feel there's any reason to sit there in a scout tank and just, uh, try and snipe, and basically get spotted and get taken out by artillery, or just get hammered. 
Um, doesn't matter what I'm in. I just don't play that side. I just don't feel there's any real um, positive thing about winning this uh, this side of the map um, because there's there's just no. I, I just don't even go on that side. I guess is the easiest way to put it. So I figured I'm gonna use my speed, get over here where I normally go, and like my uh, my heavy super heavies and stuff. And I see a whole line of stuff coming. So I get right up on this corner and uh, take up a nice little spot for them to come around and just uh, plug them as they come around the corner. Fortunately, they were on the far side of the building, so those guys are going low. The AR stayed back. I do get a, uh, some side shots here on a Yag 88. Could have taken that one there. Do get him right there. Let's get him right in the back of his turret there. And uh, a couple tanks come around the corner here. I think the ARL-44 does and maybe a KV-2. Bounce that first round. Hit him with the second one. But I got one more. Pop out here. And hit the KV-2. Then I figure, well, time to set back and load. Now, you know the ARL-44 has got... It's got all right armor. But that was a magazine of premium. And I bounced one off. Uh, I think it actually hit him in his lower plate. Doesn't have the best aim. But uh, I see this Tiger P coming up here, and I think, all right, I got a standard magazine loaded here. Uh, when you shoot a Tiger P, you really want to shoot him pretty much in the turret. I do go for that flat spot and uh, bounce two rounds. So I go for the commander's hatch, and I bounce, and go for the commander's hatch, or the turret again and bounce. And he, he got, basically, that was not a, a fair trade, or a good trade, basically, or a fair trade for me, or a good trade for me. He put two into me, penned them both for a 240, 224 and a 263, and I bounced all four of my rounds on him. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to put some premium rounds in here because obviously I'm not going to go through him with standard. So I'm putting him in his uh, lower plate there, and then I put one in his upper plate, which was kind of stupid, um, and then I put the last one in his turret. So... That time it was a little bit better. He didn't hit me at all, and uh, I hit him. Uh, put four rounds in him, and out of the four, um, two pen, two bounce. So even with premium uh, rounds, you know, I'm still it still gives you a little bit of trouble uh, going through the front of stuff. It just doesn't have. I mean, it's not meant to be a brawling tank where you're you know facing the front of stuff. You're supposed to try and get on their sides and uh, their rears. But on this map. You're kind of limited to how you're going to approach enemy tanks because otherwise you've got to drive a gazillion miles around to get on their sides and their back. So I'm thinking I'm going to get up here by their cap and see if I can take out their arty. Normally arty sticks right around their cap here. I see these down here and uh, the bulldog, um, he just misses me there. He does hit one. Or I bounce one on the Cromwell. And the bulldog does hit me once there. And he hits me... Hit me a second time. Wait a minute now. He must be using the uh, single shot because he went from an APCR to an AP. So he swapped rounds. So yeah, he doesn't have the auto loader on that. But um, it's still got like a two second, I believe not even a two second um, reload. So I wasn't going to stick around and try, uh, you know, shooting him from the front that way. I figured I'd come around and try getting side shots on him here. Or close the distance where I could use a little bit of a hill to my advantage as in get a shot back up and have some cover not be stuck out in the open. I'm down to 199 hit points so I'm a one shot for any of their big tanks and two shots for basically like a crown, their Cromwell. So I bounce one on the Cromwell, go through the Cromwell, and the Cromwell gets taken out. I got two rounds left and I was going to reload at first and I thought nope I got some uh shots here at the uh, artillery so I take him out I got one shell left and there was nothing I figured uh, they've got a couple tanks left I'm gonna go ahead and reload but unfortunately it was a mistake because their IKV 90B was sitting right there and I would have been able to hit him but end up uh, not getting reloaded in time to get any more shots off and that's the end of the match so we did um, 624 damage and we bounced no R uh, am or, pff, hits if I can talk we didn't bounce any shots because uh, this doesn't have any armor on it. Um, let's see if we can kind of look and see where he went through. Yeah, I went right through. One went right through there. 
Mm, uh, looks like the they they start the 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 this mod thing uh, for uh, the uh, paintball mod they call it. I believe that's what they call it. Uh, after so long, the the rounds start to disappear after you get hit so many times. Um, and I think they actually just start to disappear. So I only see that one. I was surprised I didn't lock my turret. A lot of times when you get hit in that lower part of the turret, your turret gets locked. Uh, it won't move when you got to fix it. But, yeah, so we got hit four times, all four rounds penned. So it has no armor, but, you know, it makes up for it in speed, um, agility, and, uh, you know, it's got a pretty decent load time, 20 seconds for four rounds. It's for 170 average damage, so it's all right. It's not a bad, uh, bad little tank, but... Uh, the uh, penetration, obviously, um, I was second highest uh, on the team, I think, because it was it's a tier eight, and we had uh, nothing but tier eights. Uh, so basically, it was top tank, and 170 had trouble going. Well, didn't have trouble; the plane didn't go through a Tiger P, and had trouble going through the front of a Cromwell. So, um, and that was with premium rounds on the Cromwell. I bounced a couple, so and that bumps you up to 210. But I, he was at a goofy angle too, so that didn't help. But uh, so your ammunition doesn't have the best penetration in the world, but yeah, you can make it work if you can get on their sides and uh, their back. But anyways, if you want to hold on for a minute, I'll have some post-game stats for you. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here is the results of that match. Um, as you can see, uh, the 12T, uh, even though it's a little bit better than the original, like the MX-12, um, I think, what is that? That's called an AMX-12, right? That's, uh... Tier 7, I believe, 1375. This is the 12T that I just took out. Maybe it's a Tier 6. Let's take a peek. I'm really kind of drawing a blank on that little guy. There it is. No, that's called a 12T also. Interesting. Oh, that's the Bat Chatillion 12T. And this is just the AMX 12T. Um, it, you know, it is an upgrade, obviously, uh, from the uh, AMX 12 because uh, this hits for, I believe it's 100 and, you know, 170 per sh shot average damage, where this is 135 uh, shot per average damage. Um, still... The standard round penetration, as you could see, um, that uh, Tiger P, I had a little bit of uh, trouble penning him. Uh, matter of fact, all four rounds bounced. And uh, I think the first round I hit him with, I might have hit him in the lower plate, which you don't want to shoot it there because that's where all the armor is. Uh, but I did turn my attention to his turret, started shooting in his turret, and bounced the remaining rounds even off his commander's hatch. So I had to switch back over to premium. Uh, basically, uh, I left it on premium after that because I didn't feel like uh, taking, you know, almost a 20-second load time to load uh, four rounds just to bounce them. And, uh, you know, they had uh, some pretty heavily armored stuff. Uh, Yag 88 was, uh, I think it was Yag 88 there was coming up. Um, you know, and I just didn't feel like bouncing round after round on them. So it, uh, you know, it does give you enough umph. Uh, bumping from 170 pen to 210 uh that 170 pen i was just real surprised that wasn't enough to go through the tiger p uh the, the turret there because uh, all that armor is basically on the, the front of the hull but anyways that was the third class and we got a sharpshooter uh fire for effect and a confederate uh at the beginning when i got in the corner of that house uh, I was hoping that they were going to be up high going across, and they weren't. They kind of went low, but they did get a shot on the Yag-88 side um, before he got tucked in there. So I hit him twice for 281. Ended up finishing him off uh, with my last shot on his keister. Hit the M41 Bulldog for 160. Hit the Tiger P twice when I penned him after I reloaded uh, premium rounds. Um, did 368 damage to him and knocked out his gun. Uh, the artillery hit him once and finished him off for 110. And the ARL-44 hit him for 173 and knocked out his track. KV-2 hit him once for 182. Nice roll there. Cromwell B hit him once for 178 and uh, knocked out his commander. And the other Cromwell B hit him for 172. Spotted him and he got hit for 56 damage from uh, 
uh, other tanks on my team. So we did 1,624 damage, got two kills, so the base experience of 706, not too shabby. Had 19 shots, 17 hit, only 10 pen. Um, I know I bounced a whole magazine on that Tiger P, uh, which I was just, I was really surprised that that bounced like that. Uh, for 624 damage, we got hit four times, fall four pen, because this has absolutely no armor. Spotted one, damaged eight, destroyed two. Damage with our assistance was 56, made 26,159 credits, but lost 33,565 because we had to use a repair kit. Uh, no, first aid kit. Uh, I think it knocked out my commander or driver. I think it was a driver. And we used a lot of premium rounds because uh, standard rounds just weren't hacking it. Um, and the supply or uh, repair the vehicle costs uh, a little, little under uh, eight grand. So not too bad on repairing it. Uh, you know, it was all right. I uh, wish I would have been able to pen uh, those four rounds in uh, uh, into that Tiger P. That would have really bumped the uh, damage amount. It would probably put us over uh, 2,000 easily. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. Uh, this will be my last uh, tank review just for probably about a week, week and a half. Uh, like I said, I'm heading out to California. If I'm able to do any reviews uh, or have decent enough internet, uh, I'll go ahead and get them posted on here for you. But more than likely, I'll probably be uh, Ixchene gone off uh, YouTube for about a week, week and a half. So uh, sorry about that, guys. It just, you know, it sucks. It sucks for me, too. But uh, you guys uh, take it easy, be safe, and I will see you on the battlefield. Well, I made a little bit of a boo-boo. I needed to uh, um, just go ahead and uh, clarify. Uh, when I got hit by the bulldog, um, I thought he uh, had a single-shot gun on there and uh, basically hit me with APCR and switched to AP, but I noticed after the fact that uh, he hit me once with an APCR round, and then it was the Cromwell that actually hit me uh, the second shot there uh, with an AP round. So I, I just didn't look well enough and I thought it was the uh, bulldog that hit me twice when it was actually the bulldog hit me once with an APCR and then the uh, Cromwell hit me once with an AP round so just a little bit of a clarification there in my mistake so anyways you guys take it easy be safe and I will see you on the battlefield